right, good afternoon folks, welcome back. I have just returned back today from my hauling eight days in Turkey. I did put a quick slide and um, shot on um, on the pool area, but yes. Lovely eight days in Turkey, lovely and warm. So yeah, I arrived back this morning from five o'clock this morning. So I wanted to quickly come down and just check on the pond. So I had a torch out this morning on my farm, having this quick check now, making sure the heater was working. Um, all the water in the drum were all filled, and everything was filled and working it should be doing. Uh, check the feeder, ample the full left, I filled that to the top, so that was eight days. Constant feed every two hours, two hours. about six, six, seven feeds every two hours, so there's ample of feed in there so we've used about half half of that so in eight days come back this morning the water was crystal clear and the fish seem um, really good as well so uh, yeah clean Checked on them this morning and then got straight in bed because they've been uh, up near 24 hours all day yesterday, then straight to bed. And then as soon as I got this morning, about 8, just before 8, I did um, what call a, a pre uh, holiday check. Did a holiday pre check before I went away and a pre holiday check after being away. There with me set, the drum just gone off. <laughs> so um two sets. So basically what I did this morning was um had a quick check because more light on the fish. And checked the auto feeder, I just showed you over there how much is used so I on that. And then um I test my KH KH this morning because um, the feed is heavy and it uses I like the KH up, so I checked it and uh, it wasn't mega bad, so I just put another um, small Pyrex jug, a full of kit, a bike and so I chuck that in, and um, that'll do. Now I'll check it again tomorrow, probably, see what it's like, and put another one just to build it back up a bit slowly. And I say, gradually, slowly, the better. So, yeah, I've done all that this morning, just a quick check, so I've I had to go work a couple of hours this morning because I had a delivery on some materials at work to take in and sort out. I didn't want to go in because um, I originally booked today off, but anyway. Showed that out. Now I've just come home, so I'll get on the top side of cleaning the filters, have a look, see what filter like. Yes, the drum has helped. I've like been away, it's so clean, don't think it should need to, but you still need to do maintenance. So, what I've done is turn the drum off, let all the water drain back into the pond, shut the ball valve off. I'll just show you that again. So basically, turn the ball valve. Completely off. Do need to answer to do that as well. The protein skinners work really well while I'm being away. Look at all the skin in there, like on the homemade protein skinner. And um, that is in a previous video, I want to look back on my channel. Um, so basically what I do is shut the hour off, <coughs> let the bio chamber drain down, right to the bottom, then I'll open the purge valve and the amount of crap that comes through here, I'll purge it, so I'll do that a couple of times and get that um, waste tray good clean out, best I can, then I'll top back up. And then I shall top the feeder up, 
there isn't much more doing. I have got a little trickle on one. I'm going to turn off now because I want it off. It's so while I've been away. So in fact, I should turn it off now. I need to do um, a chlorine check on them. So yeah, just let all that drain down. I need to have a good tidy up as well. Once that drained down past the level, and this is um, drained down really well. And what I'll do is give the um, bond drain a pledge. What would, what would be better, I should have fit another a purge line separate so I can um, shut it off there and open that, purge it straight out and give the drain a good clear, but I haven't got that. But we have to make do what we can do, don't we kids? It's not drained down really well. So we put it down two seconds, I need two hours for this. So by opening that up, we should get a purge, a lot of crap come through. I have done it once, so a second time being just to clean. Then turn the drum back on. That should start cleaning if the screen blocked up. And we're not, we're not too bad. And they start filling back up. You know when the screen's blocked up because this gets really full of overflow. So I have to do a manual clean. Just to give the screen a really, really good clean. And now I'll get back to full more or less. Just to write off a couple of times. Then I wait till this is filled back up and done with an internal cleaning tray out. I just monitor the fish just in case if there's anything changed while I've been away. And apart from um, do the usual water check for pH and nitrate tests and stuff like that, what I could do it doing next. And that is more or less. It guys, just to um, top the feeder up. I will need to order another um, a tub of this stuff because it don't seem to last two minutes as well. So yeah, just got the chlorine to test and uh, quick test uh, with this. Oh. Um, pH, ammonia, nitro number two, nitrate, that's a test as well. So yeah, we shall get back to you in soon guys. Right, just tested the water since I've been away. Um, pH, is around about 8.5 to 8, something like that. Always saying that anyway. Uh, ammonia on this one, the slight, I don't know, is near to 0 to 0 2 on that. So that's not far off. Uh, nitrate, I have problems with all that nitrate for the summer, but anyway, I think I've got on top of that. So that is more or less near clear. You won't get it to zero, but anywhere between zero to zero twenty-five to zero five. Give me a sec. 
or 0 0.5 sorry to 0 0.5 anywhere between that you're still in the good range range for nitrate so that's all and most I test for really is pH now and again nitrate number two nitrate nitrate and ammonia then obviously th that's all i test for chlorine as well but as anything else i don't bother so yeah ph ammonia nitrate no2 and KH <coughs> and the chlorine and that's basically all I can test for and that is it obviously a monetary fish as well I would like to um, ball a couple of these shearers up here there's one Becco that's Shiro, Becco, and a couple of gym rings what I've got in there. Just a curiosity, curiosity um, see how big they grow and see what the quality are like, but obviously they don't want to be netted up, they don't like being netted up. I've not had the Shiro out since, so, uh, the Shiro, the Chiba out since, sorry, to have a look, see if, um, all my marks have cleared up, she seems alright, everything's alright, I am bothered, just need to get, come close to the window and then I can have a good look. But I've just chucked some uh, detox in from tail combat, a bit of metals maybe. Apart from that, I've had a good successful holiday and a good time away and the pond has come back. All okay, scared, unscathed. So yeah, I might touch a couple of um, all the snaps in this video if I get a chance. But there isn't much more what I can put or I need to put because um, that. Is, oh, another topic. I shall be. Um, Plugging the horns all back in and getting a good test on that. Get that up and running. Let's see how we fare with that. Just I didn't want to leave it running while I've been away. As a rule of thumb, so just because I was treating the um, Ghost sticks are 40 out of well, a child near all cost you anyway, so I'll treat for that just to make sure. And I think he's the normal size and sulky, I think so. Just gonna leave it be and just see how things go. But yeah, next video I shall probably do an update is on the ozone unit. Also, I will buy another. RP meter because I don't like that one. So we're getting a one with some solution stuff and uh, I shall go from there. So yeah if you like the video thumbs up if you want to see more videos hit the subscribe button I shall catch you on the next one and thanks for watching guys and girls see you next one